Hey guys, welcome back from the exciting edition of LEGO Bar 21. I'm your host, Ryan, and on today's episode, it's LB Kids and More. So what that means is we're going to take you over the minifigure shelf. I just can't wait to show you guys that one. Minifigure shelf number two really hasn't gotten enough love. And also, we haven't really shown you guys some of the minifigures that we got, especially with the series that came out. Then we're going to take you over to the LB Kids. It's their time to shine. They really have some sets that they're excited to show you. Lastly, it's going to be the more element of this episode, which leads off with my wife showing off one of the sets that she got, and she really likes displaying around the house. Then it's going to be one of the sets that I got when I was a kid back in the 1990s, and I put it back together. Lego Bar 21's first reveal of a vintage set. So, without any further ado, let's go enjoy this wonderful adventure of LEGO Bar 21 together. Alright guys, on to the minifigure shelf. As we discussed, I'm going to show you guys the second one that I built. It mirrors the first one, and it was so much fun building this one and being able to display as many minifigures as I can on this. But I always knew in the long run I was gonna to have to build a second one because uh, all the ones that I wanna collect um, will far exceed the storage space. So one of the ones I wanna point out right away on the second shelf are uh, Disney 100th Anniversary, Muppets, and other Disney characters. And then all your minifigure um, series as well, just different ones throughout the years and months. My favorite ones, though, are showcased here in the middle of the Lord of the Rings ones. Gandalf, however, I was actually able to find at Antiques, Minnesota, and Burnsville. Gollum was a gift and just collected a ton of other ones throughout the years, especially the ones on the top are the classic ones that I've had since 1990s when I was a kid. So without any further ado, let's just go have a closer look of the minifigure shelf. Oh, yes, I almost forgot the most important part of this whole episode. LB Kids! Hey everybody, welcome to LB Kids. I'm your host, Mason, and today I build this new Spider-Man set. He could shoot webs. I can move his head. And I can move his legs too. And these are web shooters. And you could do like this. Hey everybody, you want to hear a joke? Well, the Spider-Man grill is burgers. On the Weber. 
<laughs> See you next time. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy. You have failed me for the last time. Hi, my name is Silas, and today we're practicing the LB Kids today. What do you have, Silas? Don Gavado and Obi Wan Kenobi. They make over work heads. Tell us about them. <laughs> do you see Dog Vado's lightsaber and his lightsaber? Pick it up and show us. Who has which color? Blue and red. Who has the red one? Dark Vado. Who has the blue one? Only B1 Kenobi. Yes, Obi Wan Kenobi. Do you like these brickheads? Yes. Look at he's like Dark Vado. Uh oh, he turned bad. We hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time and bye. Hi everybody, I'm Amy, I'm Ryan's wife. I'm joining today to show off my Lego <laughs> botanical bouquet. I got this set for Mother's Day. I actually requested it because I thought it was pretty. I love the colors and the vibrant. Um, flowers compared to the original Lego flower set. So you get a Larkspur, a Lupine, you get some lavender stems in here, you get some baby breath, baby's breath as like little fillers, Gerbera daisies, two of those, uh, Welch poppy. Um, I really like the details in these flowers and just the the really random Lego usage, like these are pirate hats. Um, I would never have thought to use that for a build, but um, you've got some ferns here using the palm leaves. And overall, I just had a lot of fun. Um, and it's displayed on my kitchen table. They'll never die. And it's just a fun display piece. So hope you enjoy it. Alright guys, now it's on to the Western set from Lego System, uh, set number 6765, from, that was released in 1996. This village or town is something I always enjoyed having. 
my upbringing in Colorado really made me love the Old West films and movies, some of which I'll pay tribute to in a little credit scene at the end of this uh, reveal. And after I kind of do a little fun display of the Western sets, how probably how I played with it back in the day. And all the intricacies of what this set can do is just really a lot of fun. It really had a lot of stuff that's pretty unique as well. When I was building it, kind of makes me think about Lego and their instructions today. Lego system back in the 1996, especially when this set came out, uh, you know how they have the piece count boxes and the pieces that you need for the particular part that you're on? They didn't have that. So it's like, look at the picture and find the difference between the picture. Here's what some of that looks like. So you guys understand my feeling about that. New sets to old sets, there's a bit of a difference. It helps having that box there to show what pieces do I need. So definitely had to have a different mindset when you're building Lego back in the day or just build it your own way. Uh, that being said, one thing though I am missing, I don't have the sign, I couldn't find it at least, for their town that they're in and the wanted poster for this town as well and I believe I reused some stuff for some of my mock builds that used to be part of the wagon that's why in the stagecoach uh, and the couple horses that's probably why you don't see that uh, today and I probably sold some of the horses to a buddy of mine when we were still hanging out but uh, you see what you see and uh, it's as complete as I can make it it was a lot of fun this guy is my favorite he's my favorite minifigure and the sheriff over here and his deputy pretty much bad guys trying to rob that bank and they have the general store which you would obviously see in a western film so let's go ahead and let you guys see that mini film out of this western set
Alright guys, now that's a wrap on today's episode of Ligabar 21. I really hope you guys enjoyed and got a lot from this video, especially that stuff with the Western set, Amy's Flowers, maybe some of the stuff with the LB Kids, and the minifigure shelf. Maybe it gave you guys some ideas on what you guys want to do and how you guys want to display it or stuff you guys want to buy yourself. That's the joy that I get from this, to really share my experience with you guys. So if you guys have time, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the section below. It really goes to help the channel out. And please go visit bonfire.com slash 21 to get your Lego merch today. Have a great week ahead, and God bless.